Hey everyone, okay, so today, a little sexy show for you. Mm. Okay, so today we are, I'm gonna do a full face using one of the most controversial products at the moment in terms of comments. Because even though I did a video, I wanted to do a full video with full bits and pieces because it's got a lot of mixed reviews with people confused. So wait till you see the whole video, then you can kind of decide. We're going back to the Charlotte Tilbury Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint Hydrating Foundation Stick. But this time, we're gonna do a full face. So I'm gonna start with um, sunscreen, and I'm gonna pop this on my face, and blend it in. Apologies if you can see this rash here. I have a pretty severe allergy to dogs and my mother's dog came to give me kisses and it is hurting like the fires of hell at the moment. Yesterday I had to go to the vets with her and my eye was almost swollen shut from the allergies. Poor little things because I love dogs. Okay, so sunscreen has been applied. I applied the Eucerin Oil Control number uh, SPF 50 which I really like for oily skin. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this product. Now, as most of you will know, it is a very shiny product. In the last video, all I did was apply this, but we're gonna use concealer, um, bronzer, blusher. You can see the whole thing and what it looks like when it's properly set. So I'm gonna swipe this all over my skin. Now, ultimately, this is a really sheer product. So it's quite difficult to build up too much pigment due to the sheer nature of the product itself. But we wanna get a decent amount on. Now this product produces a very sheer finish and a lot of shine. Now it's supposed to mimic a ring light. Now obviously in real life that's not possible but what they're really saying is that there is a softness to the face. And there is, there's a lot of softness, but a lot of shine. Now, for somebody with very oily skin, you may not want this amount of shine all over, but we're able to control it. And that's, I think, the thing that people are applying this all over and then just be like, no, it's not for me. And not kind of realizing that Everything really, unless you've got really dry skin, everything needs to be set and everything needs balance. Makeup is all about balance. An entirely matte face doesn't look that beautiful, as does an entirely shiny glass-like finished face. So the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a blusher. I'm gonna apply this one here. I don't even know, I can't see. Audition, I believe it's called, I think. So I'm gonna pop this onto the cheeks, the nose, and a little bit on the forehead. And we're gonna blend this in. Now the beauty of this product, at least the Charlotte Tilbury one, is that anything you put on really glides away. So there's this beautiful kind of slip that everything has, which is quite wonderful. And I'm just gonna really blend that in create a bit of gorgeousness, making sure I blend this into the hairline as well. So we're gonna add a little bit of bronzer as well. So this is Patrick Tar. So I'm just gonna add this just to the kind of outside perimeters. I haven't done the nose yet, just to add a bit of warmth. So we're sticking really with creams here. Just blending that in, going into the outside corner of the eyes, blending the nose and then finishing off with the blush. Now, I would not leave the skin like this. It's, it's a lot. So now we're gonna powder everything down, but first we're gonna go in with concealer just to finish this off because there isn't a lot of coverage with this product, the Charlotte Tilbury one. So we're gonna add a little bit of coverage with concealer. I use Natasha Denona here, 
which is one of my favorite concealers. And I'm just gonna blend this in. And this adds a bit of coverage, which I want, but it also takes down a little bit more of that shine because it would be highly, I mean, not impossible for sure, but highly unlikely that somebody would really just go in with that one product and nothing else. So we're gonna blend this in. And just do the nose and then we'll set the powder. Who's just text me? Ah, oh, it's my babblings. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with powder. I'm gonna be using Sugar Cookie by Huda. And I'm gonna take some powder, which has now gone all over my clean trousers. And I'm now going to mattify the entire T-zone, all the way down, basically from where my eye is open, the pupil, all the way down all over the nose and the center of the forehead, above my brows and under them. Now look, look, see how nice that looks now. It's been set. We've added more coverage with the concealer, which is quite a nice thing. But now when I turn, there's that pretty shine. And I'm, I'm just gonna pick up some powder from my, my trousers here that's all fallen on it. Now, I'm actually gonna to start to powder just under it as well. Just under. And there you can really now see exactly where the shine is. There it is. And it's really pretty. It negates the need for a bloody highlighter for sure. But now I've done a full face of that with all those different products. You can, my poor trousers, you can see how nice that looks. And if I put my glasses on, I can probably see it better. And you get a real indication that this product does have a place. It is a good product, but you have to use it properly. Applying it like some people are on YouTube, just being really mean-spirited and go, look, look at the state of it. It isn't supposed, you have to set things. We use a bit of concealer. You might want to use some bronze or a blusher. And then when you powder things down, it takes on this really pretty, youthful look to the skin where there's this beautiful shine. And then you powder the rest of it down. I really think it's good when used correctly and used as it's meant to be used. It's a really good product. I mean, it's a great product. I really like it. I think it's bloody marvellous. Bloody marvellous. All oh, that hurts. I have to jump in the shower now and scrub myself down. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.